On this second and final due diligence trip to Costa Rica, we accomplished all of our objectives. In the short span of just four days, we did everything we set out to do. We found affordable housing, we submitted our residency paperwork to the consulate, and we even hired a consultant to locate and negotiate the purchase of our new car. So what else can we do to fill the remaining five days in country? Road trip! What else? We've been invited by our new internet friends Tony and Gilles Richard to visit them at their beach home in Playa Hermosa, located on Costa Rica's northwest coast. Although the driving distance is only 140 miles, we're giving ourselves about six hours to get there. If there's one thing we've learned about driving in Costa Rica is that the traffic is horrible and the roads are even worse. The Inter-American Highway makes getting there almost a straight shot. While some of the time the vistas are simply spectacular, the trip can be frustrating thanks to construction delays, occasional detours, and just plain traffic congestion. But in the end, we did arrive in one piece and without getting nabbed by the local cops for driving too fast. So for two days, we just relaxed by the pool, walked along the beach, and we sweated like pigs, but enjoyed the scenery and our friends. We are in uh, Playa Hermosa, which is, uh, which is on the beach up in Guanacaste province. Uh, this is in the northwest part of the country. All right, well, we're at the home of uh, Tony and Gilles Ricard. Uh, they were uh, they were Canadians who moved here to Costa Rica, and uh, they built this fantastic uh, house and guest house. And uh, it's just they they've opened up their doors to us, and we're just having a fantastic time. As you've been able to see, the weather out here is simply spectacular. We got here yesterday, probably around noon. The temperatures were uh, in the uh, uh, mid mid 90s or so. Uh, with a cool breeze, it felt fantastic. So uh, we just had a great time. Mm. Okay, you know what? It's 9 o'clock in the morning here. It's the exact five minutes after 9. Uh, just took a look at this uh, trusty little thermometer here. It's already 100 degrees out here in the sun. And uh, there's only one thing to do when it's uh, hot, sweaty, and it's 9 o'clock in the morning. Go ahead and get your butt wet. You ready? One, two, three. Needless to say, this is what is known as Pura Vida, the pure life. It is so comfortable, so refreshing, and I'm just having a great, great time. Gel. This is uh, Playa del Coco. It's a little town not far away from where we live in Playa Hermosa. Uh, we're just showing our friends the uh, area and uh, this is one of the places we're visiting. Uh, Playa del Coco is a fishing village which is being turned slowly into a tourist trap basically with a lot of souvenir shops and uh, this is also where we do our grocery shopping at the Auto Mercado or the Super Loop Run. That's about all I got. <laughs> We're walking down the street about five years ago and I looked at Jill and I said, do you not feel like 180? Yeah. Because they're all young surfer dudes. And, you know. The girls too? Oh yeah. yeah. Bikinis. Oh yeah. 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 All that. It's very, yeah, it's different. Modern hair? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh my god. It's much humid. more humid. It's humid. Oh. It's much more humid. Heat, but just Ocatel at the restaurant, uh, what's it called? I don't remember. Ocatel Resort. And this is Ocatel Beach. And uh, we're just, uh, we would be just south of Playa Coco where we were earlier. And Playa Coco is south of Playa Hermosa where we live. Basically, beautiful view, sunny day. We're waiting for the sunset. It's still got about a half an hour to go. And 
and uh, that's it. That's all I got on this one. Here we are in Playa Ocotal. This place is famous for its sunsets and uh, we're going to meet a couple people here for dinner and sit out and watch the sun go down and it will be magnificent. This is it, Costa Rica and a beautiful sunset. Buenas tardes, Senora Brown. How you doing? Just listening to some good old Jim Morrison here. Relaxing in Rancho Number 1. Overlooking the uh, Punta Arenas Peninsula. And having a really, really nice time. Oh, you having fun here? Yeah, I'm having a fantastic time. Are you? Yeah. I'm surprised that you're... Uh doing well without the internet. Oh, come on. The internet's not not my life. <laughs> what do you mean it's not my life? <laughs> That's it. That's it. Go back to your music. Adios. The doors are still on. Mm. Riders on the storm. Robin Debs and we went down to the little town of Punta Arenas where we're at the local fish market where the fish was caught this morning. So we're going to go in there with Rob right now and go ahead and get some fish for dinner. This should be like really good. This should be awesome fish. Although I wonder if we'll see any three-eyed fish. We'll see. Kilo of uh, some good sized jumbos here for uh, 7,500 colonas, uh, which is like, see, that's like 14 bucks uh, for 2.2 pounds. That's like six, six and a half bucks a pound. Those are wine.
so we conquered. We've uh, achieved most of our objectives. Found a place to live. Uh, made some new friends. Coming home with two bottles of guaro. That's about it. Do you want to go home? No. I'd rather stay here. That's all. Namaste.